today we will study factorization method so what is factorization method the very first thing when to factorize whenever the power of x is more than 2 then and then we do factorize means what if it is x raised to power more than 2 might be x cube might be 2 sometimes or else 3 4 so then and then we people do factorize the next question why to factorize then we should understand what is the cancelling term let's say limit extends to 0 if it is limit extends to 0 then our cancelling term cancelling term is x minus 0 is equal to x if I say x tends to 1 then x minus 1 is the cancelling term if I say x tends to 2 then the cancelling term will be x minus 2 if I say x tends to a then the cancelling term is x minus a now we will study the very first sum limit x tends to 5 x square minus 9x plus 20 upon x square minus 6x plus 5 if we say x tends to 5 what would be the cancelling term the cancelling term would be x minus 5 so while considering one term has been decided that is x minus 5 so x to the power 2 means we can factorize to get the cancelling term how to factorize this term I will factorize over here x square minus 9x plus 20 is equal to 0 so it would be plus 20 to be factorized in the term minus 4 minus 5 means what are the factors x square minus 4x minus 5x plus 20 is equal to 0 the same term if I consider x as common 1 x minus 4 minus 5 x minus 4 is equal to 0 so the factors are going to be x minus 4 and x minus 5 so the next term would be limit x tends to 5 x minus 4 and x minus 5 upon if you look at the denominator we can see x square minus 6x plus 5 again the same thing the cancellation term is x minus 5 so what would be the factors of plus 5 so the factors of plus 5 would be plus 5 I will split into minus 5 minus 1 so the factors would be x minus 1 and x minus 5 the cancelling term what we discussed was x minus 5 it got cancelled and what is remaining there limit x times to 5 x minus 4 upon x minus 1 once the cancelling term got cancelled then we will substitute the value x times to 5 x is not equal to 5 we will substitute 5 instead of x so it would be 5 minus 4 upon 5 minus 1 5 minus 4 would be 1 upon 4 this is the Bohr's method now the shortcut method for IIT and JW is limit x tends to a f of x upon g of x is exactly equal to f dash x upon g dash x which is L hospital rule f of x and f dash x f of x is the given term and f dash x is the derivative of the term g of x the same thing and g dash x is the derivative now to solve this term with the shortcut method we will simplify limit x tends to 5 what would be the derivative of x square it would be 2x minus what would be derivative of minus 9x it would be only 9 plus 20 being a constant term it is going to be 0 upon x square means 2x minus 6 so we will go for the next term that is x tends to 5 2 into 5 minus 9 upon 2 into 5 minus 6 
the simplification would be 10 minus 9 upon 10 minus 6 which is equal to 1 upon 4 which is the time saving trick for competitive examinations directly you can have the answer without solving this.